there a word from the Lord? Yes, there is a word from the Lord. Get your Bible, your notepad, your pen, your pencil. Let's dig into the word. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. To the book of Timothy again. Second Timothy, the third chapter. Uh -huh. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. And we have been looking at changing in a time of crisis. Yes, yes, yes. And the Lord, of course, has been teaching and talking to us all year long last year mm -hmm. along these lines. Uh, we are in a crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and based on the projections, there is no fast cure no, to this crisis. Because no, right when they thought they had one thing on the rack, here yeah. comes another thing okay, okay. that they're having to deal with. Okay. So the, the nation is in crisis. Yeah. And anybody who doesn't want to agree with that, they're probably just being political. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, there is a problem. Yes. Yes, and it's so. not a Bohemian problem. No. It's a worldwide yeah. problem. Global. Global. Yeah. Global. Yeah. Yeah. And so God has answers still. Nothing yeah. catches our God yeah. by surprise. No, no, no. God knew what was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus foretold what was coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. And God also knows how to keep his people and bring them through any crisis. Amen. If we believe him. Yes. It is a matter of having faith, faith. in God. That's yeah. And remembering the faithfulness Hallelujah. of our God. Yes. Having faith in him, knowing that if he brought us through before, okay, okay, that's it. That's he it. can bring us through okay. again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And sometimes you just need to remind yourself mm -hmm. of where God brought you from. Yes, sir. Of the faithfulness of God. Because yes. some of you know you didn't think you'd still be here today. Amen. Some of you probably thought Amen. you'd have been back in sin. Amen. Some of you probably thought you'd have been dead. Yes, yes, yes. But look at where God brought you. We may not be where we want to be. But we thank God we are not where we used to be. Come on somebody and give God praise. And so we have a lot to be thankful for. And we have a lot to be grateful for. And we need to remember our God is faithful. And that is something that we need to remind ourselves of especially when things look bad, on, especially when things look gloomy, yes. 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 especially when everybody is saying, oh, we all in trouble, My or like God. the little fella say, what do you say? We go all about the day. You're going to kill us all. When you hear stuff like that, yeah. you need to remind yourself yes. Yes. of the faithfulness yes. of God. Yes. And God has been faithful yes. in spite yes, of our unfaithfulness. Yes. Yes. He has been faithful. And we thank God for his faithfulness. Amen? Amen. And so we are looking at this subject because God wants us to know him. Amen. Even in the midst of the crisis. Yes, sir. And to experience his hand of provision, yes, sir. of blessing, My God. of healing. Yes. Of deliverance, Amen. of help, yes, 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 of wisdom, yes, sir. of strength, yes, of power, yes, Amen. even in the midst of what is going on. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, I firmly believe, and we're not going to probably get to this today, that right in the middle of the crisis, God's going to show Himself strong. Yes, yes. Amen. I believe that there are going to be a group of people. And I believe to be one of them in the number. Yes, yes. Who are going to believe God to the point mm -hmm. that he's going to show himself strong. Yes, yes. The Bible says the people that do know their God oh, yes, 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 yes. shall be strong yes, yes. and do exploits. Yes, Any exploit people, oh, any people of exploits yes, in the house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He wants to do good yes, for you. And he said it's manifestation time. Now, some of you, maybe you heard that so much, you don't get excited over that no more. But listen, when God says it's manifestation time, you better get your dancing shoes on, your praising shoes on, your fighting shoes on, and realize that if God said it, it is so. All he needs is for some 
somebody to believe him. Amen. He's just looking for somebody to believe him. He's just looking for believers. Raise your hand and say, see me here, Lord. You know, I, I, Isaiah heard the voice say, whom shall I say? chapter 18, Jesus said, then the Son of Man cometh. Shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah. Will he find things are going to get so bad? He said, is he going to find anybody who's still believing? Oh. Well, I say, yes, he will. Yes. As long as I'm here, I'm going to believe God. Amen. 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 I'm going to believe God, and I'm going to receive yes. manifestation Amen. of his promises. Yes. Praise God. I'm going to preach myself out. Yeah. I'm going to believe God yes, yes. and I'm going to receive Hallelujah. manifestation and I remember him saying to me like I, I told you but this last week I uh, in round of November first part of December I'm driving my vehicle um, uh, on Sanders Beach there and I heard it came out strong Hallelujah. he said it's manifestation yes, time yes. Yes. and he said you and those, and he was talking about you all. Hallelujah. Well, I mean, look, sound like some of y'all. He's talking about you all. Yeah. And he said, your prayers have been answered. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. He said, prayers you prayed about long time. Yeah. It's time for manifestation. Yeah. Glory to God.
some praises? Yes. Those of you that stepped out in faith and praise, stop expecting as of this day. He's kept you. 
all this time. Yes, sir. Yes. He's yes. going to keep you. Yes. Yes. Amen. And we've been through high challenges before. Yes, sir. And God brought us through. Yes, Stop stressing. Amen. Now, it may mean that you may need to stop listening yes. to a whole lot of stuff yes. that's coming on your yes. phone yes. and on the news. Yes. Amen. And stop listening to people tell you fool like saying there's no cure. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is the cure. That's right. I ain't get no That's it, man. I said Jesus. You don't think Jesus can heal Corona? Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Well, let's go further. You don't think Jesus can keep you from Corona? Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. He had made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Measured out the waters in the hollow of his hand and meted out the heaven with a nine inch fan, <laughs> weighing the mountains and scales yeah. and the hills and the balance. Mm -hmm. Can't keep Corona mm -hmm. from you. Yeah. He that upholds all things by the word of his power yeah. has the galaxies running through space, none of them bucking up. Jesus. You don't oh, think he could keep. Corona from you? Yes, he that gave you the assurance that no evil shall befall you? No plague no will come nigh you dwell. If you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you don't think he can keep Corona from you? He don't even have to come and do it himself. He said he'll give his angels to <laughs> Concerning you to keep you. Hallelujah. The key is not to stress. And everybody is pushing for people to get in stress and to panic. That's right. Don't panic. God got you. Now, go to um, Proverbs 24 again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know these are scriptures Pastor Randy preached, but this isn't Pastor Randy word. This is God word. Amen. Give him to Pastor Randy. Yes. So I could preach the same thing. Yes. And all he could say, do is sit there and look handsome. And say amen. 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 Because it's God word. Amen. Someone asked me, they say, I you preach here one of your books here in my name. I said, it's God word. Amen. <laughs> I don't have no monopoly on the word of God. <laughs> All right, Proverbs 24. Just teasing around here a little bit there. Proverbs 24, verse 10. King James. If thou think in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. But I, I have to do the Randy this morning, so I'm going to use some other translations. Hey. The uh, Amplified Bible. No, the, um, let's start from top. The contemporary English version. Mm -hmm. Don't give up and be helpless victims of trouble. Don't give up and be helpless victims of trouble. Douay Reims Bible says, if you lose hope, mm -hmm. being weary in the day of distress, thy strength shall be diminished. <laughs> this, this one will get here. Good word, God's word translation. If you faint in a crisis, you are weak. Mm. Crisis reveals your level of strength. Good times don't show how strong you are. What you do in crisis reveals your level of strength. As a matter of fact, do you know that in the midst of crisis, people become millionaires? Yes, sir. All right, let's go back. Yes, sir. In the middle of crisis, thinking people <laughs> become millionaires. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. I did not say educated people. No. I said thinking people. Because you have a lot of educated derelicts. Yes. There are a lot of educated people who ain't got much sense. That's right. Yes. But thinking people. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I always remember that illustration. Uh, I will buy the gun give. He said that these business people was having a meeting and this uneducated man say, let's get this meeting on the way. Some of us uneducated people got to go back and 
made jobs for those who come out of college. Oh, Y'all yeah. get that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. good to get education. Yeah. But education alone will not make you a success. No. You need the wisdom of God. Yes, do. That's what makes you a success. Yes, Did you get that? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Now you need the education, but it's that's not what's going to make you the success. Right, there are people who've gone away to school and to college, and they're failures. Yes, sir. You say why? Because they have not taken the time to tap into the wisdom of God, which makes you successful. Yes, sir. That's it. Amen. And some people don't go to school to learn. Some go to get away from their parents. <laughs> Some go to drink. Some go to smoke. Amen. Some go to come back and tell you there's no God. You call that education? Great God. Educated to the point of becoming a fool. Wow. Now preach. Yeah, you went to school to become a fool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's where I'm in all. <laughs> Go learn, but don't you listen to anybody who tell you how you know God really. Uh -huh. I, I know why now. God prefers for me to learn from school right here than for me to have gone to one of them kind of university. Mm -hmm. I would get kicked out. Because the minute that professor said, how you all know God real and you I was going to say, how we know you real? They <laughs> <laughs> see me here. Yeah, but see God here. Where? In creation. Yes. Right. If there's a creation, there's a creator. Yes. Hello? You all teach. This, Eleanor, people don't know this side of me. Okay. You all teach. For every course, there's a fact. That's right. Nothing just happens. Someone made this. Yeah, right. You didn't make it because you was born then. <laughs> <laughs> you just reach it the other day yeah. and you won't come acting like you're an authority. Yeah, oh, my God. Real talk. Get out of my mouth. I walk up and you're a fool. Any other score? Good news translation, Stephen. If you are weak in a crisis, you are weak indeed. Mm. Look at your neighbor face, see if they're smiling or if they look weak in a crisis. <laughs> Christian standard Bible. If you do nothing in a difficult listen. If you do nothing in a difficult time, your strength is limited. I'm telling you right now that some of you thinking that you operating in faith. But one man of God said there's faith, there's presumption, mm -hmm. uh, and, there's and there's foolishness. And you got to determine whether you operate in faith, yes. yeah. presumption, or foolishness. Mm -hmm. If you do nothing, mm -hmm. I'm just trusting God. Mm -hmm. How long you been waiting? 12 years. Just sitting here. Trusting God. When he gets ready. I tell you, when, 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 when he gets ready. He's going to move. God always be moving. Is us stuck. If you do nothing in difficult time, your strength's limited. So what do we do in a crisis? We have to make up our minds. To trust in the Lord. Now, go to Proverbs, please, chapter number three. Oh, I'm having a good time. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm still saying glory to God. Yes, sir. But if I don't teach you this practical side, uh -huh. I'm going to be in trouble with the master. Yes. Yes, sir. So I, I'm not going to be in trouble today. It's good for us to shout and scream and holler yes, and praise, sir. but now let's get to the practical side. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 And you know this desire people don't want to hear. Because it means we have to do something. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have to do something, you have to do something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That shows you believe God. Yes. Yes. All right. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. What do you do in the crisis? Let, let this man of God tell you. Trust in the Lord. I say trust in the Lord. Yes, sir. Now, that's... 
God's word to you today. I don't want a prophetic word. You can't ba ba ba, shandai shandai, trust in the Lord. <laughs> All right, thank you. We put prophecy and stuff above the word. No, no. This God's number one we're talking. Trust in the Lord. What do you do in a crisis? Trust in the Lord. What do you do in a crisis? Trust in the Lord. Man, come on now. Y'all got to talk to me louder than that. What do you do in a crisis? Trust in the Lord. With all your heart. What else? Lean not to your own understanding. Your understanding is limited. Your understanding will make you freak out. Yes. Your understanding will make you feel hopeless. Your understanding will make you talk out to your and say, ah! Yes. He said, don't lean to that. Your mind only can take so much, and then your mind say, tilt. <laughs> so don't lean to that. No. Well, how am I going to trust in the Lord? Look at the next verse. <laughs> in all your ways. <laughs> what to do? Talk to him. Talk to him. And what do you do? Uh, now, now, hold on now. See, when he's quoting it right, I want y'all to hear it. What will he do? What will he do? He shall. Underline those two words in your Bible. Because some of you aim to try and make my father a liar. He said, if you acknowledge him, in all your ways, he shall direct your path. So that means, then, Pastor Eleanor, either God directing our paths, or some of us just ain't following the paths he direct. But I know why we're missing God. And that's why I'm here this morning. I'm here to tell you why. We miss God. Well, let me go on this. 90% of the time, I should say 99%. We miss God. You're listening, God? Yes, sir. Because we don't know when He's talking. That's the truth. Now, why don't we know when He's talking? Because as one great man of God said, the Lord told him, my people are looking for the spectacular mm -hmm. and missing the supernatural. Oh, yes. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to stay right here because I'm writing some people grits, mm -hmm. stirring it with my foot. Mm -hmm. We look for God in the spectacular. Oh, we miss him in the supernatural. We are always thinking that if God can talk, an angel got up here. We're waiting on a six foot being, no, nine foot being, yeah. to come in our room with wings and tell us what God said. Or we're waiting on Jesus himself to appear to tell us what he has to say. Some of us are saying, God, if that's you, let the thunder strike three times. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll know that you talking. Ain't no one will talk to me. Someone say, God, if that's you, send three prophets my way. And let the three prophets or prophetesses give me the word to confirm that this is you. Oh, we deep. Oh, God, if that's you. Let Pastor Jen put the money in my hand. <laughs> Go on. Mm -hmm. If that's you, let three Billy goats run across to me right now. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, if that's you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Much of the time, I'm going to get real practical here now. For all of those deep in, deep in the ends, mm -hmm. those who so deep they can't be practical. Oh, you this, 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 
Deviance. Deviance. Deep ones. However you want to say it. Deep ones. Deep ones. Deep ones. Deep ones. For all of you who don't want practical. Because you're looking for the spectacular. And if you want to, you can leave now. Because I'm going to get very, very practical. We miss God a lot. Because when God talks to us, He thoughts to us. And we don't know when it's His thoughts. For my ways are not your ways. Neither mine. So when God talks to us, a lot of time he thoughts to us. And we don't realize he's in the thought. My God. My God. Go, go to Proverbs 16 again. So we're looking for a voice. Speak to me audibly, God. But we're missing his thoughts. He doesn't have to talk audibly to you every day. No. Because he lives in you. <laughs> me and Jen live together in the same room. Look at me. I'm saying something here. If you listen to me, you'll get it. Me and Jen in the same room in the same bed. And I'm talking to her like this. Jen! Jen! Jennifer! I ain't gonna talk to her like that because she can look at me and say, Who are you talking to? <laughs> Go and get me some hot water! What's wrong with you? We live together. We don't have to shout. She right there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God live with you. He don't have to shout. No. He right there. So boys. Amen. He's in you. But you keep trying to be led from the outside. And that's why you miss him. Proverbs 16. Which creep? I'm having a good time. I know you all ain't having a good, but I'm having a good time. I'm having a ball. Because see, some of you, you're missing God because he ain't listening to the thought he's giving you. Now, you said, well, how do I know the thought? I'm going to tell you in a few minutes. I know Eleanor won't know. I'll tell you in a few minutes. It's easy to know. Once you learn it. Amen. There's a difference between your thoughts and his. Your thoughts are full of reasonings and unsureness. His thoughts are firm. And when he says it, it there's no reasoning behind it. It's just a thought. Yes. Okay. Amen. All right? The bishop... You know, I believe that, I know, that's where we get to I believe that if God wanted to talk to me, he'd just come sit down on my bed and have a conversation with me. He lives in you. Amen. I said, he lives in you. Amen. And there are people who he has appeared to. But my brothers and sisters, that's not his number one way of leading you. No. He doesn't want us to come show up in your room every day. Every day you need him to walk in your room and talk to you. And to be honest with you, some of us still won't do what he's saying. You know how many people God spoke to in an audible voice and they still ain't obeying? Audibly! And they... Gideon. Remember Gideon? The angel appeared him. Yeah. And Gideon said, if that's God, give me a sign. Yeah. This angel talking to him. Mm -hmm. If that's God. Some people, 
regardless how God comes, they ain't gonna believe. There are some times you have to take the risk and follow what you know in your heart to be God, even when it don't look like it. You said, well, suppose I miss it, you'll join the rest of us. But some, you'll never know if it's God behind it you don't if you don't step up. Yeah. And there are times, and listen good now, there are times his advice or his instruction or his leading, his direction is so simple that you could miss it because you're thinking no way that can be God. You could ask God for money, and God could say, bake bread. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. When the, when the woman uh, came to Elisha yeah. in the Old Testament yeah. and said to Elisha, look here, man. Well, she said to Elisha, she said, look here. The credit is coming, and they're going to take my sons yes. yeah. and make them slaves. What did Elisha say? He said, what you got in your house? I want to ask you all that today. What you all have in your house, what can bring you all money? What you all got in your house? Ain't no woman talk to me. You're waiting for God in the spectacular. And you're missing the supernatural. Elijah, Elijah didn't say, Oh, 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 he ba 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 shandai, shandai. Yeah. Go to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Look over Jordan. Mm -hmm. And when you see those seven white dogs fly by, <laughs> know that dance is near. <laughs> no. He simply said, what you got? Yeah. In your house. I, mean, I got some pots and so forth and a little bit of He said, okay, close your door. Now touch your neighbor and say, close your door. Close. Say, neighbor, the door of your mouth, close it. <laughs> when God giving you that thought, when God giving you that idea, when God giving you that direction, close your mouth. Oh, if I were to give JCC a my word, oh, I would say, please shut up. <laughs> shut up and just do it. Yes, yes, yes. Have a testimony before you give a testimony. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's call in our house, give it a testimony you ain't got yet. Anyhow, but let's, as a pastor, I have to be nice. So he said, close your door. Mm. Why? Your neighbors don't need to see what you're doing. Right. Not everybody who look like they like you, like you. Not everybody who look like they for you, are for you. Shut your door. Touch your neighbor and say, shut your door. <laughs> The door. He said, just pour. Pour it over. And pour. And pour. And pour. And pour. And pour. And she ran out of things. He said, go borrow from your neighbor. Don't tell him what you're doing. Just go borrow. And pour. And pour. And then the house was full. He didn't say, now go to bed, relax yourself. No. You ain't got to worry, the Lord, you take care of it. No, he said, go sell him. That's right, that's what. Yes. Come that's on, that's 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 I'm preaching my message today. <laughs> that's why we miss God. Someone said, many people miss their God, Dr. Jerry Seville, many people miss their God given opportunities. Because it comes wearing overalls yeah. and looks like wood. <laughs> yeah, that's why I run it. Mm -hmm. It looks like. Mm -hmm. My, 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 my. my. God. Mm -hmm. 
Watch this, Proverbs. <laughs> so I wonder how many was God telling and ask him, what you got in your house? That's right. Oh. What could you do? Mm. You're asking God, God, what I must do? What could you do? Yeah. What you got? What you got? What do you got? What are your talents? What are your abilities? What do you have? Yes, sir. What can you do? It's God talking to you about something you can do. That's right. But you, you, you thinking that can't be God. Hmm. Why God can tell me big bread and sell it? I hope I'm buying my bread and yum. Keep that stinking attitude. We'll give you the bread and the yum. And it won't work. Someone bound to buy your bread, even if it's just to cry it. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh my Lord. Amen. 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 But do something. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Anyhow. Anyhow. I know this this uh this ain't for the deep deep ends. <laughs> this ain't for the deep ones. <laughs> Proverbs what sixteen three. I'm reading the King James. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Watch this. And thy thoughts shall be established. Thy thoughts. <laughs> he puts his thoughts in your mind. Now, you say, well, how do you know the difference? Man, let me read it out, Dr. Five. Roll your works upon the Lord. That sounds like in all your ways acknowledge him. Yes. Roll your words upon the Lord. Commit and trust them wholly to him. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. And so shall your plan be established and succeed. Wow. Awesome. He's going to cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. He can do something with your thoughts. How do I know it's God? Well, here's three ways to know when the thoughts are from God. Number one, it will never go against his word. That's right. Sure. The thought will never go against his word. Number two, it will never go against righteous principles. He will not give you the thought to go gamble. He will not give you the thought to go sell dope. He will not give you the thought to go buy liquor or to sell. His thoughts will always be righteous. It will never go against righteous or right principles. Number three, it will be firm, more firmer than your own natural thinking. In other words, it will just come clear. Do this. Don't do this. Did y'all get that? Yes, you'll just be firm. You'll, you'll just get a firm assurance. Number two, it, um, it will never go against righteous principles. He will not tell you to gamble. He will not tell you to sell dope. He will not tell you to buy alcohol and sell alcohol. He'll not tell you to do something that's wrong. He'll not tell you to go rob the bank. You see? Amen. He'll not tell you to steal from your wood, from your employer. Did, did you get it? Yes. yes, sir. Did you get it? Yes, yes, sir. And number three, his thoughts will be firm. They, with me at times when they come, they stick. They're not always that way. It'll be a thought, but it won't be a thought like a thought where you're reasoning and wondering what to do. It'll just come. Do this. But it won't be a voice. It'll be a thought. Yes. Now, here's the next thing that, that uh, men of God who have taught along these lines for years have taught. When it's the enemy, it comes from up here. Reasoning. It comes in the mind yeah. from here. When it's God, it comes from down inside yeah. and it comes up yeah. to your mind. Yeah. And it's firm. Right. Now, as I end this morning, and I'm going to end on a note that some of y'all probably have to ask God to forgive you for. 
And some of you probably going to ask God to forgive you, have to ask God to forgive you for getting offended at your bishop. You don't qualify for God's provision if you're not a faithful tither. Amen. Amen. I ain't got much. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my God. I don't care if you just made ten dollars. A dollar out of that is not yours. And if you don't give God that dollar, when wind can blow on the ten, and it's gonna go so quick, you gonna wonder where it's gone. Ain't no one want to talk to me. And I, I didn't go for it because y'all don't want to talk to me. Amen, amen. 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 Right. Y'all still there for Proverbs 3? Yes. yes. What, what point six say in all your ways, acknowledge him, yes. and he shall direct your path? How many of y'all believe in trusting the Lord with all your heart? Yes, sir. And lay not to your own life. How many of y'all believe that? Yes, sir. How many of you believe in all your ways, acknowledge him? Yes, How many of you believe he'll direct your path? Yes, sir. Y'all believe that? Yes, sir. You really do? Yes, sir. You read waste nine? Yes, sir. <laughs> Honor the Lord. Yeah, Hold on, same chapter. Hey. I haven't moved from the chapter. Hey. Ain't no one want to talk to me. Hey, I still, Randy and I still in chapter 3? Yes. I only go on down a couple of voices like Pastor and all. Yep. Honor the Lord. Yeah. With your substance. Yeah. And with the first fruits. Yes. Of all, even your side jobs, ten yes. percent belong to God. Yes. Yes. Of all your increase, yes. and then He give you a promise. So shall your bonds, and there they is, they had bonds, and our days we got bank books, be filled with plenty. Yes. Yes. And your presses shall voice out with new wine, no doubt even to drink. He's talking about you have a prosperous life. Yes, that's an increase. That's it. Now, let me ask you a question. You honestly think you're going to get God to acknowledge you in all your ways, in all your ways, if you're robbing him of the opportunity to bless you by being a faithful tither? And a faithful tither is different from a haphazard title. Yes. Let me know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. One of those now and then. Yeah. Woo. Not constant. A faithful title tides whenever they got get paid. Right. Or get blessed. Yes, sir. And a hazard title only tides when things good or, when they feel or convenient. Yes. Yeah. So you treat God haphazardly? He treats you haphazardly. Mm -hmm. Well, that ain't God. Yeah. Will the Bible say, them that honor me, I will honor. Them that lightly esteem me, will I despise. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with that? Yes. Yeah. You wonder why some people live on the open heaven and why some only get blessed. It's like heaven only open up and spurn on them once in a while. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got to ask your neighbor. You living under a spread or open heaven? Hey, hey, hey. My God. <laughs> Ain't much people talking to me. I, I, I'm trying to tell you how. Yes, sir. Listen to me. I sit sold in famine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. We're behind the floor. In the middle of trouble, yes. I sit sold. Yes, sir. And reap a thousand up. A hundred fold. A hundredfold Jesus. in the middle of a famine. Yes, sir. You don't think God know how to bring you through a pandemic? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm a tiger. Yes, and in the middle of the pandemic, hey. when everything was closed up, I had people calling from Andrus. Hey, hey. hey oh, Andrus. Hey. Hey, oh, Andrus. Hey. I'm sending you a box. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not normal fish. No. Mutton. 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 Eat mutton. Mutton boy. In farming. Hey. My lord. Get, get jealous. Get jealous. I'm a tiger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. I got my Amen. Amen. Eat mutton. Get so much crab we have to go carry them somewhere for 
for the brother them to keep up. Yes, sir. That's right. In farming? Yes, sir. Amen. Fresh vegetables. Hey, hey, hey. Out the ground. Hey. No artificial preservatives. Yes, sir. It's organic. Organic. Oh, <laughs> the best. <laughs> In farming. Yes, yeah. sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Go on and get my. My button, stick up. Yeah. Put some in and keep some for later. Able to feed others. Ain't no one want to talk to me. Eating like a king. And farming. Yes, yes, yes. You don't think God knows to take care of you? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. What I'm saying will not work for you if you're not and don't make up your mind to be a faithful and consistent tiger. Amen. Amen. God said, you put my work first. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I'll take care of you. Amen. 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 I'm so glad that you joined us for this time in God's word today. And we want you, please, to go ahead, if you want to see other videos coming to you from Jesus Christ Center Ministries International, subscribe to this particular page. Like us on Facebook at Jesus CCMI. And by the way, if you have prayer requests, please email us. Our email address will be on the screen in just a moment. Email us and let us know how we can pray for you. Until we meet together again around God's Word, remember, Jesus Christ is Lord and divine love flows.